The lifestyle of the West Coast is here. Right here. On Beach City Radio. Hey, what's up everybody? Greg J, Beach City Radio, beachcityradio.com. How are you today? I want to just share with you a little bit about uh, something that I'm involved in right here in the Long Beach community, and that is the Arts Council for Long Beach. This Thursday is uh, Long Beach Gives. And, you know, man, over a hundred nonprofits in the city are all getting together uh, on the longbeachgives.org website and uh, people from our city or wherever you are can make a financial donation to support uh, nonprofits of your choice no matter what the category. Me, I'm representing the uh, Arts Council for Long Beach. Uh, I'm the treasurer of the organization. I'm just really honored to serve in that capacity. But just as a man of the community, you know, I want to advocate for the arts as one platform of my community advocacies. And uh, the other thing is just want to always try to be in place to help people in the beloved community across, you know, across the cities. It's an important time right now. And as we reset, as we, you know, essentially begin to do things fundamentally differently than we were before, as we live and link up together through this pandemic times and look forward to the future, you know, man, the arts community needs your help too. Art is very much a part of the Long Beach scene. Long Beach is a, is a vibrant culture. Always a breath of fresh air, seeing just the vibrant culture and community, you know, from public art, you know, there's, there's been a, a lot of increase of public art with murals and whatnot. So art is an expression of creativity and culture um, that is expressed through music, through painting and art, graphics, um, just coming from the inner soul of the artists and articulating their feelings and the interpretations of the world around them. So this is Soul Ray, spelled S-O-L-R-E, and it's a play on the word soul, El Sol, which is the sun, and then Ray, like a sun's ray. And so this particular piece was, it's a matter of recognizing the sun as an ultimate source of power and creating all life. So everything on this planet from the smallest of things that you have growing from the ground to even us as living, breathing beings, we can't exist here without the sun and what it provides in terms of nutrients and warmth and heat and all of that. And so, but the fun part about this piece is, yeah, that's the dynamic of, of creation right here on the planet. but when you think about inspiration and painting and creativity that also comes from a source that's beyond us too you know that's how, what i acknowledge the l is stands for long beach uh it was a, it's a photograph that i shot uh while taking a, a, a cruise that the port of long beach sponsored and so it was a harbor cruise of all the um of all the ports and we got to go around and shoot photography and there was about 50 photographers on that cruise and everybody was getting to shoot um, photos of the of the docks and and I love seeing all that machinery out there. I mean, I'm again like to me the harbor is a very iconic, very inspirational as an artist. To me, it like it inspires art. So I took a picture and everybody was shooting the same picture. But for me, I I, I, I put my hand out and I and I made an L symbol, you know. Uh, and I just shot the picture, but then after that, I looked at it and I said, oh, it needs a little something else. So I added the graphics to it and, and completed the word Long Beach on there. And, and uh, for, the, for, for a while, I just saw it as a print for, 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 for someone's home. So I had it available as a print and I had it in my store. 
and people kept asking me, well, why isn't that available on a t-shirt, you know? And I was like, well, in my, my mind, I really just envisioned it on, on a wall and, and I was selling it that way. And I put it on a t-shirt and it became really popular. So it really came out of the, 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 the customers and people that go to my store that they were, they wanted it to wear it. You know, I just saw it as something that would be on a wall, but then they really were the, the, the catalyst of it going also on a t-shirt. I'm, I'm very much involved in Brazilian music and Brazilian culture. Uh, so a lot of the music I do is Brazilian music. I, I work a lot with a friend of mine, Donna Maman. She's a phenomenal singer. So we, we've been working together, writing music together. And a friend of mine, Chandler, he's a, he's a video producer and he wanted to make a music video of capoeira and Brazilian martial art, and he wanted us to create a song for it. The song is called Os Mestres, which means the masters, and it's referring to the, the masters or mestres of capoeira. Uh, in the tradition of capoeira, you know, we, we really honor the lineage of the mestres who have taught us, and you know, the, the lineage that was passed down from generation to generation. So the, the song is an homage to the great messages of Capoeira. So the Arts Council for Long Beach is an organization that supports the arts throughout the city of Long Beach. They're really strong in education, so we, you know, you want to reach into the schools and teach the kids about art. And uh, matter of fact, as an example, I just went to an art exhibit that uh, they held at a uh, elementary school, but all of the art was done by the students, fourth and fifth graders. And there was one piece of art where the young lady, fourth grader, it was a painting of a girl who had just been engulfed by a wave. And she said that the girl was her, and when the wave crashed over her, when she came out of the water, she was an artist. So it's that type of experience that stimulates the children to th know that yes, they can be creative, that they can be, you know, artistic. And I think that's really the jewel of what this Arts Council does. Also too, this community, the city is full of artists, whether they're musicians, whether they're graphic artist or, or whatever and this is a place where they can come and they can find grants to help them advance their art they can find support they can network with other artists you know it's just like any segment of of professionalism you need to network with like-minded people and i think the arts council is very powerful in that way and bringing the arts people the arts community together and advancing the cause of arts, metropolitan arts, city arts, public arts. That's what this place is about. Uh, as you see around our beautiful city, the arts community is alive and kicking. We just would like your support. Long Beach Gives, Thursday, September 24th. And uh, yeah, that's all I'd have to say to y'all. Peace and blessings.